Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to One English Mistake in One Minute for speakers of Chinese and its many language varieties. Each week in these videos, I discuss in detail one common English mistake made by Chinese speakers, and this is video number 36. So I said this in video one, and I've said it in every video since, and I truly mean it. I think it's a very cool, smart, and of course it's a practical thing to do in today's world to try to improve your English. So good work, and hopefully these videos are helping you in your goal to master English. Anyways, in these videos I show you a slide, and on the slide there are two sentences. One is the correct way, one is the wrong way we say it in English, and your task is to decide which one is correct. So do that now. Read the sentences, listen to me read the sentences, pause the video, think about your answer, and I will discuss the answer in the slide that follows. Which is correct? The boy is watching a program on television, or the boy is looking at a program on television. So again, pause the video and think about your answer. The correct answer is, the boy is watching a program on television. So another rule of thumb is, and remember, it's a rule of thumb, it's not 100%, but it's, it's a good rule of thumb. So if something is moving, you are watching it. If it's not moving, you are looking at it. So in this picture, the boy is watching the television because there's something on the television. But if there was nothing on the television, the boy would be looking at it. So yeah, hopefully you got it. Hopefully it wasn't much of a struggle for you and you know why it's correct. And if not, hopefully now you know why you got it wrong. So it also means if you got it wrong or if you took a wild guess and happened to get it right, that you have to start studying more this structure. So to start you on that path, it's a very simple beginning, I know, but you can use the many resources outside of this video. I've given you three sentences to study from. Memorize these sentences drill them into your brain through repetition, and put into practice what you've learned through speaking or writing or both, and just keep going through that cycle, and eventually you'll get it.